there, how are you doing today? Do you feel like doing a little DIYM with me? Well, come on in, let's get started. What do I have going on for you for today? Well, today I am bringing to you those DIY decorative wall tiles that I've been bringing to you all year. These are the Fall and Harvest series tiles for 2022. And boy, oh boy, let me just tell you, I love the outcome of these tiles. I was feeling the inspiration when it came to them and the outcome is unlike any other tile that I have brought to you so far. I can't wait to show you what I've done with these tiles. I think you're absolutely gonna love them because I love them. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing Let's jump into it and let's do some decorative wall tile and DIY in. That makes sense? Decorative wall tile and tile in? Decorative wall tile and DIY in? Oh heck, you know what I mean. Let's get started. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. Alrighty, so getting started, I'm going to show you how to make these tiles. It is very simple using Plaster of Paris. You can get this four pound carton at Walmart for just under four dollars. At Dollar Tree, you're going to want to pick up one of these storage containers. They've got the clasp on it. This is the perfect size for these tiles. I'm going to take just some regular good old cooking spray. I'm going to line the inside of this because this is gonna make it, or ensure, I guess you can say, that the tile slides out easily and just by taking a paper towel and spreading it around, you're just gonna get a nice good coating on the edges and the bottom. This is very easy to make. It is a two to one ratio. So for this tile, I like to use four cups of plaster of Paris to two cups of cold water. Now you do want to use cold water, not warm water, because plaster of Paris sets pretty quickly anyway. If you use hot water or warm water, it's gonna set even faster. So you want to stick with cool water. Once you get that water poured into your plaster, you're gonna want to move quickly because again, it will start to thicken up, which is setting. You really want to mix it, get as much of that powder incorporated with the water as you can so you have a nice smooth consistency. I'm done mixing so I'm gonna go ahead and pour it into my mold. I'm then gonna take some rubbing alcohol. I put it in a mini spray bottle because this works for making those air bubbles disappear. Look at that, just by spraying it on the top, those air bubbles disappear and we're gonna have a nice smooth surface. I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes no longer just to let it thicken up a bit before I start adding my pieces to this tile. Yes, white birch stems. This is a bag that you can get from Dollar Tree. I found two of them that pretty much were the same size because I needed them to be a bit longer. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of that wood glue by super glue and glue two of them together just like that. Or you can go in your yard and get one. This works. After about 10 or 15 minutes, I'm gonna go ahead and place my tree branch, my wood stumps, potato, potato, into my tile. I like to add it into my tile versus gluing it to the top because I feel like it adds depth and dimension. And so that's what I like to go for. So once I've got it in there, I'm gonna let this set for about an hour or two and then it is good to go ahead and pop right out of the mold just like so by pressing on the bottom it's going to release and there we have got a tile but this tile isn't completely dry yet so I'm going to let it set overnight before I paint it because if I try to paint it the moisture is going to make the paint bubble. It's been overnight so I think I am ready to go ahead and paint this. I'm going to take some uh, Apple Barrels Classic Caramel and yep I'm just going right in onto the tile itself and I'm gonna give this a good couple coats of the classic caramel because this is a fall and autumny color. So why not? This is a versatile piece. Get creative, make it your own. Because this is a fall autumn harvest themed tile, I picked up this bag of pine cones that has these fun colored leaves in it. I figured this was gonna work perfect. 
I glued about three or four of the leaves together and I went with the yellows and reds and I'm just going to glue it to the top of my stumps. And because there's pine cones in this, well, where there's fall trees, there's fall pine cones, right, that fall from the tree. So I figured that this would be a super cute addition to add to the bottom of the tree here. I found these cute acorns in my stash that I picked up this season, so I figured, why not add these too? They're cute. And just that easily, look at how fun this tile is. I love this one. Let's do another. Oh my word, these ceramic pieces. I know you've seen them at Dollar Tree. Pick them up because they are so fun to DIY. One of my favorite things to incorporate into DIYs whenever I can. I'm gonna start off by giving this pumpkin a good base coat of my rustic pumpkin orange that I make. Yes, this is my rustic color orange. How do I make a rustic colored orange? Well, I take some of Waverly's pumpkin orange and I add just a couple drops yeah, drops, that's what we'll say, of a darker brown, and it really kind of mutes out the brightness of an orange, kind of gives it that dull, rustic age look, and that's the look that I like to go for. I find when making these pieces or painting these pieces, if you start off with a base coat and you do full coverage, it is a bit easier to paint those elevated areas, and you don't have to worry about having those perfect clean lines in fear that the white from the ceramic will show and so I feel like with these pieces the more imperfect they are the more perfect they are so you can just go in and paint those elevated pieces and it's going to give it that homemade handmade touch that I personally love. Do you love it? With pieces like this don't be afraid or feel intimidated to add detailing to it because when you add detailing to it, that's what's gonna elevate your piece and take it to the next level. Detailing is in these ceramic pieces, so if you just use those as a guide, you're gonna be good to go. And remember, did I say the more imperfect your piece is, the more perfect it is. This is a handmade creation. I had painted my pumpkin ahead of time knowing I was gonna place it in my tile, so I've got my tile mixture set it was setting for about 10 minutes and now it is good for me to go ahead and place my pumpkin in there. After a couple of hours, it is good to go. It's not quite dry enough to paint the tile yet, but it's going to release from the mold and by releasing it from the mold before it's completely dry, it's going to help your tile dry a bit quicker. Shame on me, I didn't show it, but at the bottom there was kind of a hole for the pumpkin, so I took some of Dollar Tree spackling. No, this isn't Dollar Tree spackling. This is some spackling. I filled in the hole at the bottom just because I wanted it to look finished. Once it was good and dry, I'm just gonna take some sandpaper and smooth it out and slap on some of that rustic orange of mine. For this tile, I am gonna go in with some of my favorite brown, which would be Apple Barrel's Chocolate Sprinkles. This is such a rich, dark brown. When I did this, I was not taking into account that my stem was dark brown, so I did end up going in with the Caramel by Apple Barrel and repainting the stem because it kind of got lost there for a minute. These laser cut words that came, I believe, in a five pack for the fall and harvest season, I thought this was a fun one to add to the top and to the back. Some would say, how do you hang this? Well, just screw in a sawtooth hanger and you are good to go to either hang this on a wall or use an easel to display your fall and harvest tile. How fun are these? You can really get creative and what fun would it be to have a wall that's full of all of the tiles that you've made? Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Carolyn, who's bringing to us her DIY wall tile. Carolyn, thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. I love your tile. If you're interested in being featured as a crafter of the day in one of my videos, submit a picture of one of your recreations of a DIY that I've done to either Facebook or Instagram. If you wanna DM it to me, you can. Then you just simply have to look out for the end of each video to see if it's your DIY that I will be featuring in that given video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find these links, yep, in the description box below. 
Which one is your favorite? The tree or the pumpkin? Oh my word, I love them both. I don't think I could pick one. I was feeling the inspiration, like I said. I can't wait for the Christmas tiles because I am feeling more inspiration with those and I think you're absolutely gonna love them. If you haven't made a tile yet, get in on this series with us because I think that these are such fun gifts to give for the holiday season and they're a collector piece. So once you start one, you can continue to make them and gift them and it is the DIY that becomes the gift that keeps on giving. Until next time everybody, if you're looking for some early Christmas DIY inspiration, make sure to click on the video right over here and it'll take you to some of my past favorites. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive please, because I am. Bye for now everybody.